Greetings to all my fellow Earthlings and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another video today. For those of you who are new to my channel, I just want to thank you for clicking on this video and joining in this discussion today. For those of you who have continued to support me and like and comment on my videos, thank you so much. It is greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. So, jumping straight into the video. Today's topic is going to be can HSV1 cause HSV2? There's a lot of confusion when it comes to the two types of the herpes simplex virus. Um, and I myself do have personal experience with HSV-1. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am an HSV-1 person myself and I do carry the virus. I do carry the virus. We are in an alliance here. It is an alliance with us herpes carrying folks. Squat, squat, where my squat at, squat up. Just kidding. Okay, so jumping back into the video. Can HSV-1 cause HSV-2? HSV-1 cannot typically cause HSV-2. HSV-1 can be transmitted orally and genitally. Um, no. HSV-1 can be transmitted to the genitals through oral or genital sex. It's not genital, it's genital. I'm always adding some T's and some shit, maybe because it's, you know, my birthright. Um, anyways. Ooh, it's a little toasty in my room. Woo, and I'm getting this top lip sweat. I'm not feeling it, Mr. Krabs. HSV-1 can be transmitted to the genitals through oral and genital sex. HSV-1 is also more likely to be transmitted in either form while an outbreak is present. It is a lot less common for HSV-1 to be transmitted just through skin shedding. There, there are many answers to this question because some like to say that HSV-1 cannot cause HSV-2, but ultimately HSV-1 can be present both oral and genitally. So can HSV-1 cause HSV-2 or can it? Google says that 40% of HSV-2 is caused by HSV-1. Um, but looking further into my research, it appears that HSV-1 and HSV-2 are its own two separate strains of herpes simplex virus. And HSV-1 can be transmitted normally orally that is its most common um, transmission form, and that's where you will have an outbreak orally. But you can also have genital symptoms with HSV-1. Now, HSV-2 is normally and typically found genitally and can be transmitted genitally as well. That's its most common transmission form. Um, but I suppose it can be transmitted orally with genital to oral obviously oral sex so it can be transmitted in that way so i believe it stays hsv1 and hsv2 your outbreak place will kind of tell you exactly where you'll be affected i don't know it's kind of confusing when i say it like that okay so hsv1 and hsv2 are its own separate strands of herpes simplex virus it either can affect you orally or genitally genitally both of them can um, but HSV-1 does not turn into HSV-2. So I hope that brought a little bit more clarity to those who are curious about HSV-1 um, causing HSV-2. Maybe an HSV-1 carrier is concerned about giving their partner HSV-2, um, but it doesn't tend to happen that way, so there shouldn't be much concern in that department. Um, but just know that each virus can affect both oral and genital they are just typically found with hsv1 affecting oral and hsv2 affecting genital however it 
can be either or but one does not turn into the other so for the people that are in relationships um, with a concern of transmission or if you are just curious about HSV1 transmitting or turning into HSV2 I hope that brought you a little more clarity you may find yourself very 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 confused on Google like whoa whoa <laughs> spare me because this is just too much and there's a lot of contradicting answers um but i think the one that made the most sense is the one that i just clarified in this video so i really hope that this video helped you all um gain a little bit more insight and a little bit more education on hsv1 and its transmission and a little bit more about hsv2 too i will be covering the both of them as we move forward because i kind of want to I want to educate people on the both of them. I know that I have one, but I came very close in contact with two. And so I feel like it's my obligation to cover the both of them and treat them both as the same virus, not one better than the other. Um, but as both of them being a virus that I would love to prevent other people from getting. So I hope this video helped you. There will be more to come. I have a few videos on herpes and my experience with it already. If you haven't checked that out, be sure to do so. Don't forget to check the description box for my little positive quote and mantra for y'all. And then don't forget... I don't know. I think that was all I have for y'all. I just wanted to throw some extra shit in there, you know, just because I got to be extra but ain't no extra shit so um so again be sure to like this video hit the thumbs up if you found any of this information helpful if you know a better way of explaining this or if you have a better answer or a little more clarity on the topic please feel free to leave the comments down below I'm open to any sort of comments, whether you are supporting my ideas, rebuttaling my ideas, I welcome all comments, um, preferably positive ones. Keep the positivity at a peak, at a high, at a maximum, you know? Um, but I do welcome all comments. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed because you want to know when my next video is, don't you? I know you do. I know you do. I know you do. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And then I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Nani and have a great rest of your day. Peace, blessings, and namaste.